stop to get some gas so this way I don't run short on the trail that's the usual spot where we always pick up the gas before we head out of the city and we meet up together here too on this gas station quite often this freaking thing is leaking Oh, we can check it out how much it weighs. So 410 kilograms. So that's almost fully loaded too. I'm missing just a couple items, so it's not too bad. over the water looks pretty cool so I will be getting off here on highway 68 towards Seabart Creek and uh, that's gonna take me towards uh, Powder Face Trail from there I'm gonna head on to Forget Me Not Pond that's in Kananaskis country and then go back to Bragg's Creek and back home so what uh, the routing plan was uh, here according to GPS was about three hours even though it's like slightly over 300 kilometers or sorry 200 kilometers there we go Seabold Flats and Kananaskis country boundary so that's the provincial park for those of you that are not from Alberta Kalinaskis is uh, probably even nicer than Banff National Park which is uh, I think quite overrated because there's huge crowds of people and there's so much to see here in uh, Kalinaskis country it's a beautiful area so many nice hikes and it's so much closer to away from the big crowds that are coming from all over the place to see Banff National Park it's nice but it's I think it's overrated I had to have a four-wheeler so I'm on a part of face right now I just want him to go away because this is ridiculous. Gotta put some heat on the grips, it's cold!
because the perfect trail to, for the beginner riders to learn uh, adventure riding because it's a little bit of everything uh, rough terrain and uh, loose gravel uh, makes it a bit challenging it's best to come in after the rain so this way it doesn't get as dusty or early in the morning so there's not much traffic later probably there's gonna be a lot of bikers here I'm pretty sure I was here once uh, during the day uh, midday and it was quite busy I hate it because there's so many riders and the dust is everywhere and in the morning it's all peaceful it's you got it all to yourself you can enjoy the sceneries and the ride and it's really really beautiful trail close to Calgary so for any riders that uh, never been on it it's recommended but uh, be prepared because there is no cell phone coverage here so be careful because uh, if you don't have a GPS with you or Garmin or spot uh, you might have a hard time if you land into emergency so that's why I I had ended up getting the spot GPS this way uh, at least I can call for help especially when you're riding by yourself it's okay when you're riding with a the team there's always somebody there but uh, being by yourself you gotta be prepared for everything once I find a good area I'm gonna fly my drone I'm gonna find a nice spot for it though a tree logging area I had a full sun and uh, now between the trees here it's kind of dark still cool which is nice I like it cool, not squirching hot. The wildflower, this flower, the wildflowers this year, they're just beautiful, they're everywhere. And uh, as soon as you see a nice meadow, the colors are just popping. Uh, my wife is always admiring those. Especially this year, I don't know what's going on, but they're gorgeous and uh, they're everywhere.
That's where the turn off is to the ice cave. <laughs> we got some cows. <laughs> Moo! They are pretty common here, they're everywhere. Just wanted to show you the powder face trail. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, make sure to hit that like button, if you didn't like it, hit the like button twice, and see you on the next adventures, I try to release the content uh, once a week, usually every Monday, subscribe to my channel, this, uh, hit the notification bell, this way you stay updated when I upload new content, until next time, take care.